So today is just like one of those chill days where I'm just like, I've been feeling like in a rut. I've been feeling so down. And today I just said, you know what? I'm going to put on makeup. I'm going to go hang out with my friends. Just relax and be, you know, casual. Just just catch up and whatnot. And I decided to use um, this Tara. Is it Tara? I don't even know what brand, but I just decided to use this um, matte lip stick and it's been so long since i wore a matte lipstick like i'm usually just into lip glosses lately but today i said let me try something different maybe to boost my morale maybe to boost my energy i don't know and i put this matte lipstick and honestly as soon as i put it i just wanted to just take it off and wear my usual lip gloss but i said you know what's new me i need to try new things so i've left it on what do you think does it look cute so I'm here at my friend's place, I'm about to go in, I'm about to step in and I just said let me start this vlog. Um, so another one of my friends is meeting me here and we're all just going to hang out for a little bit before I go back. So yeah, so let's go in. Hi guys, so I'm back in Naya's house. Um, you may or may not have seen Naya already. I think she was at my birthday but she didn't stay much so I don't know if you guys really got to meet her then. But then, um, yeah, if her apartment is already up there you should know now but i'm back here again this is where we are meeting for today and seriously i'm still not feeling these lips so i can't believe this used to be my like everyday look for at least three years straight in undergrad and now i'm just over it but now it says it looks good so yeah um we want to order food from jumia and in case you don't know this video is sponsored by jumia food so Jumia Food is the most convenient online platform where you can get food from your favorite restaurants around you. You can simply just order food from your favorite restaurants in three easy steps. So first, you follow the link, um, click the category we want. If you want food, if you want to shop groceries or if you want drinks, and you put in your address, you choose your restaurants, place your order, and you're going to get your food that quickly. That simple. Um, so me, honestly, I'm a fan of Jumia Food. I've always used it like seriously the food comes quickly depending on the restaurant but i had like at least three favorites i usually order from um and for me it's just like even though i love to cook sometimes i'm just lazy and it's such an easy fix like you just order from jumia food i even have the app like i don't have to go through the web page but anyway if you're interested in trying this app out um i have a code for you that will get you 10 percent off i'm going to link it down below i'm also going to put a direct link so you can try ordering from the jumia food website and i told you guys it's so easy so support a girl okay log on to the website try to order food from there it's so easy it's so simple and let me know how it goes i mean you have 10 percent off so why not um if you're a jumia food connoisseur like me if you're always ordering from jumia food comment down below let me know that i'm not the only lazy person out there that just likes to order food from restaurants around me and i swear like i should have a monthly budget for jumia food because it's a favorite for me like i know it's the same for a lot of people if you live in lagos or abuja so i'm really interested like comment down below let me know okay so i'm on the jumia app right now and i'm trying to order something i was trying to deliberate between sushi or like nigerian food good old nigerian food but like i eat nigerian food all the time so i'm going to compromise and go with this restaurant called casa lydia bistro they've got like Nigerian food, but also continental dishes. So I think that's a fair choice. So I'm going to do like um, Should I do a sandwich now? What are you feeling like? Should you do like a chicken sandwich a steak sandwich club sandwich? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a club sandwich um, I'm, gonna go to, I'm going to get a club sandwich ham or bacon I'm going to get the cheddar with mozzarella, mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is a bougie club sandwich. They're asking me, the normal Nigerian club sandwich is not just egg and chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're lucky, they'll add sausage. This is normal breakfast sausage for you. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do bacon and cheddar. Add to cut. Um, should we get a burger as well? Uh, classic beef burger. Okay, double cheese burger. Okay. I'm gonna do a Glover burger and okay so I'm going to also do should we do a pasta dish no I feel like I eat pasta recently yeah, so eat pasta all the time all right okay so I basically did one pasta dish one one club sandwich and a, a burger 
There's three of us, so we'll just like mix and match. Uh, which is only close to you is a feather for the rice. No, you're such a local girl. Look at all look at look at this. Just say yes. Because I'm always ordering from this Casadina. Do you use the Jimmy food app as well? Every other time. I love, <laughs> I love Jimmy food. Uh, I know, I do too. Yeah. Oh, they have peppered fish, Cajun fish, Cajun prawns. Mm, to be honest, I'm not in the mood for all that. <laughs> I just want something relatable that I can just eat and be merry. Shayo platter. Because we pepper snails, gizzard, and chicken. Who, who came up with these names? That's the only question I have. <laughs> okay, so so we're just on the. Who is here? Who is finally here? I mean, of course I'm here just relaxing. Like it's my house. Oh. This one is even torn. Hi y'all. No, not the way I'm looking. No, you cannot just video me the way. Yeah, I'm looking. why? You see, how is this different? It's not the same hair you've been rocking. Yeah, yeah. What is the hair? Same hair. I put you. you know what? I knew that you were going to do makeup. I was thinking about it. Oh, yeah, come and make me up. Do you have makeup? No. 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 Snap so like 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 one. One. Now you have it. What I can find today. You're looking for manager. Let me yeah. just eyebrows now no, so no, that. Let's see what. Well, truly, you and I are not that far off. Eh. I said, should I dress? When I saw you, I was like, should I go back and dress? Or what's not? this vibe? What's this? What's going on here? Is this vintage? Kira is looking so fine. I want to be fine. She even wore sunglasses. I'm not doing makeup. Let me take out the sunglasses so you see my no, face. No, where is sunglasses? It's, it's the whole, you know, outfit. It's the whole vibe. Oh. The whole outfit. What should I do? Kira, be proud in your outfit now. What are you doing? What should I do? Where you do not even do baby hair. Why are you removing slippers? I'm taking out my brain. Everybody removes slippers. Okay. Why? Are you videoing? Yes. <laughs> Okay guys, my wig is off because I'm having a headache, like I just can't do. My cornrows are fresh, so why not? Anyway, so, oh yeah, <laughs> thanks for the light. Um, we are talking about how we are watching this movie, I think it's called Hope and Spring. I'll be home, home spring. Home spring. Hope, yeah. Hope, hope spring. Hope spring. And the thing is, this topic came up like, would you mind sleeping in separate bedrooms with your partner or is it like a must for you to sleep in the same bedroom and if you do sleep in separate bedrooms does it affect like intimacy and you know adult time do you grow apart because you're sleeping in separate rooms and for me i'm going to start with my opinion first okay i feel like definitely sleeping in the same room helps you to bond and get closer but then i understand that people have different sleeping patterns like for instance some people like the lights off some people like the lights on some people like the room a bit colder while others like it like a little bit warm so i feel like all those factors affect um affect couples like sleeping together or sleeping apart so some people would rather just have a restful sleep so they rather sleep in a separate bedroom but at the same time i feel like definitely if you sleep in the same bedroom there's no way you will not be more intimate like say you have a, an argument or a fight one second so yes i feel like sleeping in the same bedroom helps with intimacy say you get into a fight like when you come into the bedroom i know there's that period where you're just like i'll face my side you'll face the side but like at least maybe one person will gradually come closer or something but you'll be forced to talk about it but like if you go to your separate bedrooms you should say she'll put pillow in between your petty <laughs> but i don't know i just feel like it helps with intimacy that's for sure but let's hear what other people have to say okay i'll speak for myself so me i'll rather stay in the same bedroom in my husband by god's grace if we have separate bedrooms my room is going to be my closet yeah just your closet no my closet but i'll change there and stuff like that and then my space use the toilet there because you know mm -hmm. <laughs> But basically, yeah, for me, mm -hmm. sleeping together, I'd rather sleep in the same bed with my husband and... Every day? Yes, why not? Do you know what? The bed is yes. like big And then anyways. if I want me, because so. yeah, sometimes, I know that sometimes I might want me time and I would just rather just go to my room and then do my stuff, yeah. But sleeping at night, I, have to, I would rather sleep with my husband because I won't lie, I'm that cuddly person, like I love to... You're clingy, is that what you're saying? I'm clingy. That's not, it's not clingy. I'm clingy, like, I would want to, I need... You like body contact. I love yeah. body contact, because, yeah. like, you know, I have, I must sleep it. Let me expose myself, yeah. Yeah. but it's, something must it's, touch it's me when I want to sleep. love language, something, so... <laughs> like... People, <laughs> like, if it's, if it's bad that you won't pour and everything. Okay, so how are you, you see? How separate or... How about you, like, separate or same bedroom? 
Me, I'll say same thing. Yeah. In the UK, the bed is very small, anyways. They just like tiny bed. Or in Nigeria, the bed is big. So, why yeah. would only you stay in that massive bed? Yeah. I, I prefer. To be honest, same bed for me. I don't know. I don't know if over the years you, you know, want your own. Space. But what am I doing with space? Exactly. Look, you'll be lonely and like nobody, nobody oh, wants. It's nice, especially when you're. I'm almost still thinking of how it would be when he travels somewhere and I'm in another place, like alone, now being in the same house. <laughs> That's it. So for me, same bed. Yeah. Same room. It's just we need to have different things. Like he'll have his own wardrobe, I'll have my own wardrobe because I can't deal with scattered, scattered life. It's not for me. You have yeah, you see, has dresser. a bit of OCD. I have my own dresser. You keep your own shoes somewhere. I keep my own shoes somewhere. Of course. That's the only thing. As long as we have separate wardrobes and all, I'm fine. The bed is good. It's just to stand up and dress the bed. I'm fine. That one I can deal with. Your turn is coming up now. Nah, how about you? What do you think? Separate or sleeping separately mm. or same bed? I'm just thinking louder. So okay, <laughs> Naya is so separate bed. Like so, um, let me speak for her. Separate if we bed. own yeah, the house, house. <laughs> so let's say we own the house or we build the house. So this you don't have, have to be to quite do. intense. Yeah, because I have to add. Like I do interior design, and so like if it's like my dream house yeah. that I'm living in. Okay, so we're gonna have like one bedroom, uh -huh. <laughs> one one bedroom like this, but the closet will be his and her. Exactly, as in, that and then we it. have our bedroom, mm -hmm. and then we we'll have a guest bedroom because I don't want him to get oh, that. You're just going really no like right now. Guest bedroom on the same floor. And okay, then we'll have okay. our chairs and everything. But so if we fight, we're gonna be on that same bed. Because <laughs> if you have separate rooms, I just feel like over that, time, that's that's like, a, a rock we are talking about. Like that poor, um, you know, like it's not that it happened. So like that poor, like that fight might last like one week if you guys have separate bedrooms. Yes, but same bed, true. like same bathroom, everything. People and you'll be forced to talk. You'll be forced to talk. To talk. Like, so, it is like shift. So if you want space, anything. just have space for your space should be for your shoes and your clothes. Should be of course for your shoes. The person I'm married to, yeah. That's what I think though. Yeah. So I think we're all saying the same thing. Like mm -hmm. we'd rather be in the same bed yeah. and room with our husbands. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We always had the same. We're always in the same mm -hmm. room. I don't think any of us had separate. We never had a room to ourselves. Um, for us we grew up in the same room but as we got older, like when we became teenagers, mm -hmm. we all had separate rooms. But when we were younger, mm -hmm. we all literally stayed in the same I think room. The only time separate is when everybody, when you started when getting married. Uh, yeah. house. Oh my god, I still just ruined my makeup. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, the food finally got here. So we have fries. I think this is chicken wings. And more fries. We have pork sandwich. Let's see. There's pork sandwich in here. Ooh, it looks so juicy. Yeah, um, I can't wait to try this. And then we have a burger. Oh my god, this burger looks so good. See guys, thank you. I'm going to try and set it up in a plate so I can be a little proper and then enjoy my food with my friends. Oh my god, you guys, look how juicy this burger looks. Yum. We have the club sandwich. Oh my god. Can you see now that's my mouth <sighs> and then look at the wings we are about to dive in everyone is so ready thanks to jumia food for sponsoring this video we are about to enjoy our food it looks so yummy like my mouth is watering i can't even say what i have to say don't forget that i've also linked um a code down below that will get you 10 percent off your next order all you have to do is just simply follow the link in the description box and put in your address choose your category food drinks or groceries from the supermarket and place your order and use my 10 percent of good and enjoy it's that simple oh my god you guys let's eat i'm going to dive in if you are not ready i want to try the first one i want to taste that one mm. nice, nice. Let's cut it, it tastes good though nice. you see i'll just take one more bite and give you before you cut it now everything will be messed up <laughs> okay let me wash my hands mm. 
Yeah. No one seems to be moving to come and eat. Wash my hands. I can try. Thank you. Yeah, I was one greedy yeah. last bite. It's really nice. I said this one. That's actually mm -hmm. really good. I like yeah. it. Yeah, I feel it. Oh my god, I like it. Lucy, you like it? Yeah. I'm enjoying my life, you guys. Mm. Fries never get old. I really like yeah. it. It's nice. Mm -mm. And it was affordable to like 3000 for including the fries for Lagos standards, isn't it? Mm. If I like a kosher. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the fries are a little cold now because we've been taking pictures and you know. But it was warm when it came. Is that all? Yeah, let me try the ring. Try the wings. Mm. The wings will be bad. Mm -mm. Like I actually like the wings. Like good, that's what I mean. Like bad food. Sorry. Good, <laughs> good bad. The wings are actually nice. Mm. The sandwich is nice. Try yeah. the wings. <laughs> to be honest, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I need a serviette. Mm, I'm going to go and get served. It. I'll be back, guys. Okay, I'm back. I think this this is it's quite an old movie, but I think you guys should watch this Hope Spring because it just shows you how a marriage can you can lose connection in a marriage and it can get quite boring after so many years. And a lot of times it's caused by poor communication, not necessarily because you no longer have a connection. Sometimes it's just because there are some things you need to discuss, but you bury it under the carpet. And then years go by, it leads to other issues in the marriage. And before you know it, you're sleeping in separate bedrooms and you're so cold to each other. And things start to fall apart. Mmm. I always see it's more of the wings. I want to try the burger. Jesus. This Jimmy food is just feeding my gluten behavior, but it looks so good. Let's open it. Let's really assess what's inside here. I think there's mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese, two beef patties, and then there's bacon, um, tomato, lettuce. I cannot see any raw onion, which is like one of my favorite things in a burger. I'm going to try it. This mozzarella. Ah. This is the first time I'm ordering like a, a burger. Mm. Mm. This is my first time ordering from this restaurant and the food I think I rate it like 6.5 or 7. It's alright. It doesn't taste bad. <laughs> anyway guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!